We did plan on staying in Budapest for five days, but slight change of plans. Now our itinerary has just completely blown up, but that's okay. Uh, Greece was not part of our original plan, but it's gonna be cool. Headed to Athens. Thank you. Yes, that was goodbye. Excited? Yes, that was the easiest plane ride I've ever been on. Easiest? Ever? Yeah, ever. Wow. So good. Nice. Whoop. Boom. Nice. Did it. I'd like to ask about renting a car. Yes. So, we are in Athens, Greece. Complete change of plans, and we did not even know we would be coming here like 20 hours ago. We saw uh, a request from one of our favorite YouTube channels, Kara and Nate. Nate is currently in Athens, Greece, and tomorrow he will be running the Athens Marathon, the official granddaddy of all marathons that started the marathon and they need help filming his race so we in budapest saw that sent him an email and made arrangements to get here we're really excited we're getting dinner with nate tonight i don't know what else is in store for us but so far i'm really really glad that we have time freedom and that we were opportunistic and we're like hey we're not in athens but we will be So we are at the official starting line for the marathon, like the marathon in Marathon Greece. We just missed the opening ceremony by like an hour and a half, yeah. but there's the plane. Yep, there it is. Crazy. Pretty cool stuff. We're scouting out locations for tomorrow. Traffic here is bananas. It's a chance though. Reminds me of driving in Costa Rica. Yeah, it's kind of just a free-for-all. Look, people are parked like too deep here. That's crazy. Like, that person doesn't care that that person parked there. They're blocking them in. Making our way up to the stadium. We are about 20 minutes out. Nate's doing a great job. He should end probably around 1.30. <laughs> And it's a celebration down here. It's awesome. We're at the finish line, waiting on Nate. Look at this. Stop the Acropolis. Hello, your COVID passes. Okay, sir, you have to unplug the microphone. Okay. Because it's supposed to be a professional videotaping if you have the microphone. Okay. It's a silly rule, but we have to keep it. Okay. I understand. <laughs> I will do that. Unplug. that I paid more attention in intro to Greek history. <laughs> I don't remember anything. 
All right, well, that was cool. Acropolis, Parthenon, Temple of Athena. Good times. Now it's time for food. Yes, I am starving. We're gonna get some euros. Bam. Got a hot tip about this place. Super good, super cheap. We actually ate here yesterday. You know it's legit when they put fries in it. I look cute? You do. Or you said, look cute. You do look cute. Oh, thanks. The absolute best adventures are fueled by shaved meat stuffed inside a pita. Absolutely. Hadrian's Arch looking at all kinds of ancient ruins and there's just turtles walking around. Ancient turtles. They could be old although I think ancient turtles would be much bigger because that's how turtling works. Okay, we've entered certainly a busier area, maybe even a bit of a touristy area. But there are some cute shops. I may never see her again. So we're not big souvenir people. We don't really have room for it. But I do yeah. like to buy a little ring from most of the countries we go to. Sometimes I'm not always successful. But I found this cute little guy and it was only 13 euro. We've been walking along this fence for quite a while. We just want to see the things that are inside the fence. We found it! <gasps> the entrance! <laughs> Two foolish Americans search for entrance to park. We're too late. It closes in 30 minutes. Nice. We'll see it tomorrow, maybe? Maybe. We'll see. There were many other things on our list for today, but we'll have to pick them up another time. It was a pretty ambitious list, all right? Okay, yeah. all right, that's a thing I do sometimes, but we'll pick it back up. <laughs> hey gang, what's going on? We are out and about this morning looking for some food. And we're gonna jump back on our Athens walking tour and hit the sites we didn't hit on the first day. Here we go. Good? Mm -hmm. Well, that was some of the most delicious souvlaki we have ever had. So good. So we're lunched up. We also got negative COVID tests. Bam! Take that! <laughs> and now we're on our way to the National Gardens. Well, it appears the National Garden is closed. Police order. So we're going to find something else. So we found something that's open. That's right, the Athenian Agora. Just bought our little tickies, and now we're in here. There's so much to see. So we're just going to bop around for a little bit. Bopping. Bopping.
Are you sad we're leaving Athens? No. I'm ready for Poland. Boom. So we just walked 15 minutes to the metro that we need to take to the airport and it's closed. <sighs> I guess we have to pay for a taxi. Ouch. Okay, no, thank you. Thanks. 50 euro. Uh-uh. Okay. Headed to the airport. Strike today. Yeah. You know it. <laughs> what? Well, What's it about? Three days ago, some uh, person died in the train. Uh, it, uh, it was employment uh, in the train. So, uh, they fix something and then die. Uh, uh, if you understand. Yep. Uh, all, all the others employment, they want to do strike about that. Uh. Mm. For like better safety. Greece. Uh, nah, better safety, bravo. I still cannot believe that we came to Athens. I know, and just like how quick the chain of events was. But you know what? We are never going to forget that we did this. And I think the lesson there for anybody watching is build in some room for spontaneity when you travel. And if opportunity presents itself, go for it. And now we're off to Poland. Poland.